Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your fuel tanks because we're about to embark on a journey through the intimate fuel apocalypse that is coming to a town near you. Let me explain. The experts have sounded the alarm, warning us of a crisis that will leave us clenching our wallets and gasping at the pump. But hey, let's find some humor amidst the chaos and drive into this gasoline woes. So what's really taking place? Picture this, a world where the price of fuel is as unpredictable as your favorite sitcom's pilot twist. OPEC Plus slash oil productions, leaving us gasping for air. Ugh, gasoline. Or both. (laughs) When you get the bill. And if that wasn't enough, the Saudis are sending a not-so-subtle message to the U.S. short sellers, warning them to watch out. It's like a high-stakes betting game with prices teetering on the edge of a cliff. So buckle up, folks. What else are we going to do? According to the Energy Information Association, we're in for a wild ride. Thank you for being honest with us. We didn't see it coming. They predict that the price of a barrel of oil will rise by a jaw-dropping $10 above the current average. So brace yourselves for an impact on gasoline prices nationwide. Some states are already paying more than your daily dose of caffeine for a gallon of gas. Over $4.90. And we know what states that's usually in. But hey, it's not all bad news. Come on. Bloomberg reports that the seasonal demands will pick up, making the outlook even more exciting. It's like a roller coaster ride, but instead of screaming, you'll be crying when you see your gas bill. So hold on to your hat, folks, because OPEC Plus is playing with fire, right? They announced crude oil production cuts for the rest of the year, leaving us in the U.S. in a tizzy. As a result, the U.S. Energy Information Administration has raised its Brent crude oil price forecast not once, but twice this year, and we're only in June. We're talking about a barrel of Brent crude that could reach a mind-boggling $85 a barrel. Who needs a roller coaster when you can have the fuel prices that are roller coasting and steamrolling us into the ground? Industrial insiders are fueling our nightmares with their grim predictions. Brace yourselves. Brent crude soaring above $100 a barrel. It's not just a wild dream. It's a real possibility, like finding a unicorn in your backyard, right? Experts warn of supply squeezes with national gasoline inventories dropping to the lowest levels, well, forever. It's like searching for a needle in a haystack, only the needle is gasoline and the haystack is an empty gas station. Remember the chaos of 2021 when people went bonkers and formed endless lines outside gas stations? Well, get ready for round two. As prices skyrocket and inventories dwindle, folks start hoarding fuel like it's a last episode of their favorite TV show. It's survival of the fittest at the pump as people scramble to fill their tanks before stations run dry. All the thrill of panic buying. Just what we need to spice up our lives. And who says prepping isn't a good thing? Who knew gas pipelines could be so delicate? Researchers at the Carnegie Mellon Universe have unveiled the vulnerability of the U.S. gas pipelines. Who knew? We're talking about potential widespread outages. Folks, It's like playing Django with our energy supply. Pull one block out, the whole tower comes tumbling down. Maybe we need to send in some pipeline engineers armed with duct tape and superglue. It's a race against time, and it's oddly entertaining. In the diesel market, this is where things get interesting. Things are going from bad to worse. 
The prospects of an economic slowdown have left oil demand stumbling like a clumsy comedian. Diesel demand is weakening faster than a poorly executed punchline. Thanks to freight recessions and falling consumer demand for goods, trucking companies are going bankrupt at a rate that makes your head spin. It's a comedy of errors with the economy as the unwilling punchline. The aftermath of the fuel crisis looms before us with grave consequences, casting a shadow of seriousness upon our lives. We find ourselves standing at a precise of an unprecedented disaster, one that demands unwavering attention and a somber understanding of the challenges that lie ahead. In a serious note, as prices surge and inventories dwindle, the impact on individual families and the economic as a whole cannot be understated. The burden of escalating fuel costs trickles down, stretching budgets to their breaking points where most people are right now. The ripple effect extends beyond the pump, affecting industrial, transportation, and the livelihoods of hardworking men and women in this country. Prepare yourselves for a grim reality. The fuel apocalypse leaves little room for error. It magnifies the vulnerability of our energy infrastructure and exposes the fragility of our supply chains. Outages become more than an inconvenience. They have the power to disrupt entire communities and bring essential services to a grinding halt. And the consequences extend far beyond empty gas stations and long lines. The fuel crisis threatens the economic recovery, driving inflation higher and impeding growth. It paints a bleak picture of an uncertain future where business struggles to survive, jobs hang in the balance, and the stability we once took for granted teeters on the edge of collapse. In the wake of this impeding catastrophe, it is essential that we face reality head on. We must unite in our efforts to find sustainable solutions, promote responsible energy practices, and, and develop resilience in the face of uncertainty. The choices we make today will shape our ability to weather the storm and emerge stronger on the other side. Let us not be complacent in the face of the fuel apocalypse. Rather, let us be motivated by the seriousness of the situation to take decisive action. It is only through a conceited, focused, and unwavering commitment to change that we can hope to navigate this crisis and build a future that is more resilient, sustainable, and secure for generations to come. Survival Preparedness for Beginners, thank you for joining me today. I'm out.